Hey, this is Derek, and in this video I'm going to go over how to set up a very cool Prosper 202 mod. Now this mod allows you to analyze your landing page click-through rate data much more precisely. It adds to your Analyze tab a landing page click-through rate for keywords, a landing page click-through rate for text ads, and a landing page click-through rate for refers. First things first, credit where credit is due. Now this mod was created by Jasper, the nerdy affiliate, and I'll have links to his blog and the download file needed for this mod at the bottom of this post under resources. So here's what your Analyze tab looks like without the mod. You can see it's right here, Analyze, and you have your standard flavor Prosper 202. And here's what it looks like with the mod. As you can see, you got your keywords landing page click-through rate, your text ads landing page click-through rate, and your referrers landing page click-through rate. This is a direct linking campaign I ran on 7Search with a CPA offer. The landing page click-through rate is 100% and that's because it's a direct linking campaign. But I think you'll get an idea of how this data can help you with your marketing. In addition to the normal clicks, leads, conversion rate, earnings per click, etc., you get the click-throughs and the landing page click-through rate on a per keyword basis. Let's take a look at the referrer data. same campaign. And again, you get the same clicks, click-throughs, and landing page click-through rate in addition to the regular data on a per referrer basis. So now you can literally single out which referrer is doing the most for you. Imagine how powerful this information can be while you're testing out your landing pages. Now we're going to walk through setting this mod up so you can follow along and install the mod on your server. And this is a fresh install of Prosper 202 so you can see everything just as it happens. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is download the mod file and unzip it, which I've already done. This is the mod file right here. Already unzipped, we go ahead and open up the mod file. And we want to go ahead and open up the readme file. This readme file has some killer instructions. Jasper did a great job with it. Now we want to go ahead and update our database first. And you do that by copying and pasting the three SQL commands within the SQL tab within PHP My Admin. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Go ahead and log into your cPanel and you can scroll around and what you're going to want to do is find the databases and the PHP My Admin. Open that up. Okay, we're in the PHP My Admin. We go ahead and select the database. In my case, it's Demo. Hopefully you've remembered what your database name is. You named it something simple. We go to the SQL tab and we're going to copy and paste our SQL commands in. I do them one at a time, although I'm not sure that's the correct way to do it, but it does work. Go ahead and go back to our readme file, and we grab our first set of MySQL commands. We hit copy, come back to phpMyAdmin, paste it in, and hit go. Hit the SQL command again, go back to our file, Grab the second set of commands, copy, paste them in, and hit go. Hit the SQL tab one more time, go back to our readme file one more time, grab the last set of commands, copy, hit paste, and hit go. The database has been updated. Now we update a few Prosper 202 files and we're ready to see if everything worked. I'm going to use FTP to do this. Go to our FTP. You'll need to copy a few files over and the instructions in Jasper's readme file will help you do just that. I already have a backup of my entire Prosper 202 file right here. 1.6.1, so I'm not going to back up anything. I'm just going to move the folders over wholesale and overwrite any existing files. Let's open up the mod folder, open up the tracking 202 folder. We go over to our Prosper 202 folders and open up the tracking 202 folder here. And as you can see, the same three folders are right on top. Now we go ahead and select and copy the three mod folders, copy them over to our Prosper 202. Click yes to overwrite the existing files. And we've updated our Prosper 202 server. Let's see if our Analyze tab is modified and everything is working OK. We go back to our Prosper 202 server. We're going to go ahead and hit refresh. And there's our three tabs. 
Now we can analyze our landing page click-through rate data much more precisely. As you can see, this is a pretty simple mod, and in my honest opinion, it's very worthwhile as the data you get can really help you with your marketing. Well, that's it for now. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.